Hello, I'm Spastastic. Welcome to Spastastic TV. Today we're going to be talking about what the video's title, which is uh, failed video projects, which are video projects that I either, pretty much the ones that I just never got to that sounded like a good idea on paper, but then when I started to look into them, it just didn't really work out. And one of them happens to be this little uh, clear Redicus uh, AM FM radio, which would be perfectly acceptable in a jail or a prison because, well, it's transparent and you can see through it. And then we'll, yeah, that, 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 that's what that is. Picks up FM radio pretty good and freaking, uh, Actually, I'm going to show you something. If you ever wondered what the AM antenna is in here, it's that little loop right there. That's the AM antenna. Now you learn something. Almost all radios, if they don't have that little freaking crappy loop, it, it, it's that's an AM antenna. But anyhow, I'm going to jump cut to uh, the TV dinner train. I'm just going to show you a couple of little freaking things and give explanations of why I never got around to. Now, one of the other videos that I had an idea of doing was a uh, little video on uh, these little cheapo radio boombox things, of which uh, the reason I never uploaded a video is because... Uh, Techmon did a review on this one, and the 8-Bit guy did a review on this one, even though this one doesn't say X-Base on it. And they were much better videos than what I was going to put out, except for I might actually return to this radio right here, because it does actually do one thing well, even though it doesn't pick up the full band that most people would normally do, is this actually is a pretty good shortwave radio receiver. And the freaking cassette deck in it actually didn't have a lot of wow and flutter, but the sound quality of the speakers was really tinny, and it wasn't really worth showing on camera because it's already been done to death but i don't think anybody's shown the shortwave radio receiver that this thing has in it if you want to see that i'll make i, I could make a quick video on that late at night i mean why not and this one sounds a lot better but uh and, and they're, they're both bluetooth radios too but this one sounds a lot better but the cassette deck in it's crap and it doesn't pick up anything on shortwave so i mean that's pretty much those this reason i didn't upload those is because well, they've been done to death. All right, you might be saying to yourself, well, that's just some cheapo tackle. I mean, I got the so Gaylang freaking uh, stuff. Um, the idea behind uh, what I was going to do here was I was going to see, oh, could I get a uh, cheap fishing kit and actually catch a fish for $40 from Wish? And I just never got around to doing it because uh, the biggest problem I'd have is going and finding a place to actually, you know, that's the fish are biting. And I don't know what the logistics are involved with actually filming a fishing video. Probably ought to ask somebody about that. But, you know, one of, one of these, I think it was this one, came with uh, this stuff right here, which has got some lure. It's got a lure in it and whatnot. Probably ought to hold it in the freaking frame. Uh, it came with that stuff. And this one, I think I bought it with this lure kit. You can even see it. And it's got a bunch of grubs and stuff in it. And I bought some extra line for it because... Wait, this one did, yeah, that one came with it. Now, this one I didn't even know came with line on the uh, line on the reel. If you can tell, they're kind of covered with dust and stuff, but... And I think I bought another little thing with these, but I don't have a fucking clue where it's at. But, yeah, that's another little failed video project. I mean, like, I was also thinking about doing some more, like, with, with like, fishing stuff. Like, you know, they have those, uh, like, ready-to-fish kits and stuff like that. You know, sometimes if you get, like, the Berkeley ones out of the power bait, and they got, like, a lure and a couple spinners and stuff in them. I was actually thinking about buying one of those, too, and saying, well, let's go see if we can catch a fish. But if I do that, I'm going to have to be on a boat in order to actually test it out. Because that's about the only place that I know. Uh, because the because one place I know where I can always catch a fish is Flaming Gorge. If I'm not on the Utah side. So, yeah, that's just some failed video projects. I mean, like, you know, I also have stuff like the freaking dinosaur project that I do need to finish, but I don't know when or where or how I'm going to finish that. Might just do it in the studio. If you want to see that, you know, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section, too. But I'm Spastastic. You're watching Spastastic TV, and uh, thank you for watching me ramble on for a bit with this kind of lame video. Anyhow, thanks for watching.